Well played, John. That was some performance from the team, some result. How was it to be part of? Yeah, obviously, um, brilliant result. Um, after the week of training, which has been a little bit broken up with obviously weather conditions and stuff, but um, the manager and his staff gave us some clear messages and we've been able to bring it into a performance today that I think everyone can be proud of. Yeah, let's talk about the impact of, of, of Gareth Ainsworth since, since coming in. This is his first game, of course. Put into words as a player, having worked with him these last uh, seven or eight days or so, what's it been like? Yeah, it's been really good. Obviously, he's very enthusiastic. Um, and he's very clear and concise with his message. And I think you could see that today. We set up with a game plan, which was to be aggressive and press when we can and um, hurt them in the transition um, moments. Obviously, Birmingham are a very good side but they do get very open and very expansive and we felt like with Blocko's pace and my knowledge more than pace I'd say we was able to pick our moments when we can when we won the ball back to, to hurt them on the counter attack and the second and third goal come from that so um, the, the game plans obviously worked and I think everyone can see that there's going to be a way of us playing it was very clear um, probably from the stands watching I'd have to watch it back to, to really see it but I felt like in the game we executed exactly everything we was asked of Aaron Pierre makes it 1-0, you then score for 2-0, for you then claim an assist for Tom Blocks. I mean, you've got to enjoy those moments, how are you putting the ball in the net again and, and then setting one up for Tom? Yeah, obviously that's, uh, that's the, the main thing is how can, how can I contribute to the team and, you know, even I think without my, without my goal and, and setting up Blocko, I think um, there was a lot of bits that I'd done for the team that you know, might not be recognised, but I felt the the appreciation from my teammates, and there was things that, you know, little bits that people won't see, where Taylor Perry's constantly in my ear, telling me left shoulder, telling me right shoulder, and obviously being more on the left hand side today, the communication I felt between Mal to to TP onto me, it, it really just helped us at times, and it's something we've maybe not had enough of this season so far. Um, and it's always a work in progress, no matter if you're top of the league or bottom of the league, everything, every day you can get better and feel like there was a lot of positives to take from today's game, barring the result. Obviously, the result, everyone just looks and sees a 3-2 win, but I feel like team spirit-wise and uh, communication and concentration and when 11 minutes goes up at the end, it's quite easy to go, oh, my God, like here we go. We've got another 11 minutes of maybe hanging on or holding on, but I didn't feel like they really troubled us in, in the added time. There was a couple of deep crosses into the box, but we were set up, we were pre uh, prepared for it. Totes and P and then Nursey when he come on defended the box really well in the central and, and Huli and Mal getting out to crosses and Toby coming and taking crosses and just giving us that breather, it really helped. So um, to a man today and obviously the gaffer would be very excited that he's one for one in terms of results but that performance I felt like helped the supporters. The supporters could see there's going to be a new way of coming on and what's happened in the past is gone. We're, we was sort of made the message clear we're in a 31 game season now and Obviously, one, one of them games is gone, but we've got 30 games left um, to see what we can do here. Is that how you're looking at it? It clearly has been a challenging start to the season, the way it's gone in the opening months of the season, leading to the, 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 the managerial change as well. But a fresh start for you all, do you feel, in terms of going again? Yeah, almost as such, but, you know, it's... It's a message that I've tried to make very clear to everyone. It's a, it's a mentality and it's a mindset. And so we can't change what happened last week. We can't even change what happened today. So what's gone is gone. Uh, but what we can do is have good habits moving forward, train properly, work really hard. Whether you're in the team, you're not in the team, we're in a, a tight-knit group. There's not many players. Um, don't have the luxuries of the bigger teams in this league where you've got 25, 26 players to pick from. We're, we're sort of a 21, 22, 23 when everyone's fit and everyone's going to get their moments. Today, obviously, myself and Blocko and P scoring, that's fine. Next week, it might be three other players. It might be a clean sheet the, the, and a scrappy 1-0 win. It's, it's all about what happens next. and. Um, we can't get too high thinking that we've beat Birmingham at the top of the league. We, we've got to say consistent in how you work and being consistent and consistently having good habits will give you a better opportunity of winning games. And that's always a way that I live by and I feel like the manager's already putting their messages into people. So, you know, we've beat Birmingham, that's fine. We've now got two weeks of hard graft in between games where the manager's going to get more ideas across, I'm sure, and, and give us a real clear and concise way of playing. And 
when that next game comes around, we'll, we'll be very prepared. And again, we can't think that because we beat Birmingham, the next game's going to be easy. Every game, every game you've got to turn up for. There's, you can't pick and choose your moments. So I think we'll be in a good, good position come the next game. Just finally, John, what about the atmosphere around the ground today? That the fans loving it. They haven't had too many home wins to to enjoy. Sort of the fourth time Shrewsbury have won here in, in 2024 uh, today. Wow. Uh, but it was a special day, a, a special atmosphere. What, what was it like being out there playing in front of that sort of crowd today? Yeah, it was brilliant. You know, you can see it from from minute one, and it was like the crowd. The crowd was a little bit more full than normal in the warm up, and then. You walk out and there's you know banners and just streamers all across the pitch. So we had to click, get one of them cleared. But you know, in the moments when we really need them, they were there. And um, for them, it's probably not been easy. And, and you know, as, as players, we take we take responsibility for that. Um, but equally, at the same time, when when people can go home happy on a Saturday afternoon or a Tuesday night after a good performance and a good win, I feel like. It's a collective effort. It's come from everybody, and, and, and fans definitely played their part. There was, I remember, it was like a throw-in deep in our half where Mal's throwing it to me, and I can just hear the fans, and they're all being positive, and they're getting behind us, and you know, they're heading it back out for another throw-in, and they're cheering, and it's them little moments that really matter, and it it really helps us, and it really drives us on. But as players, we have to give them something to get after, and and give them something to cheer on. So it's easier when you're winning, um, and when you're not, it's harder for both players and, and supporters, but if we can all pull in the same direction, I feel like it's going to be a journey um, starting that everyone's going to enjoy. Very well done today. Thanks for your time, John. Thank you very much.